I set up Cheetah Conservation Fund back in 1990 to find out more about how cheetahs could live on the landscape with the people on whose land they were living. The cheetah numbers are small, there's only about 10,000 cheetahs left in the world. And we've grown our population of cheetahs here in Namibia from about 2,000 to about 3,000. Our research in, in science base is to understand the ecology of the cheetah, understanding the habitat, understanding the prey base which the cheetahs are um, needing. And all the work that we do has been pretty much volunteer based. So we're a very small staff of people. We have a big mission. And having people come in to help us means a great deal. My name is Human Shahidi, and I uh, am a volunteer with Earthwatch. First we run all the cheetahs, um, and then we throw the meat out of the cheetahs one by one. That's something you don't experience anywhere else. Definitely the biggest help is having Earthwatch come every two weeks because we have to do all the cats in one day and it's a lot of work. It's also good to feed the cats early on in the morning before it gets to the hot part of the day because otherwise, you know, they're digesting, it's too hot. You know, that can lead to some health problems. In those times when we don't have volunteers, we really feel it. I mean, we are running around like headless chickens trying to do everything. So to get volunteers in here, great. To be able to see the cats is absolutely wonderful. This is actually my second Earthwatch expedition. Last year I went to Kenya. You get to experience and do things that as a tourist that you'll never be able to do or to see. And of course, you get to contribute you know, towards something that's good. Um, why not? <laughs> I just released a cheetah into the wild. It felt great. People who have never been to Africa before, who come here, I think, get a unique experience and, and often want to come back. I mean, we have had repeat offenders, if I can call them that, <laughs> who keep coming back and it's lovely, you know, and they really become part of this family. Here you're on a safari every day because everything around you is wild animals, and yet you're involved in something that is, is ongoing instead of just passing through it. This is actually a game count, and uh, we are trying to look at uh, the numbers of animals that we have. We are counting and we are making use of that information for making uh, management you know, decisions. There's two warthogs running. No, those are the same ones. Okay. Yeah, there's the sub-adult. Oh, I see. Yeah, there are two. I'm looking at the one. Really, it's, it's such a varied experience. We have a, a dog program, which is very, very important, um, where we place Anatolian livestock guarding dogs with farmers. We train farmers in livestock management technologies, techniques, simple techniques. We use livestock guarding dogs as a non-lethal predator control method and constantly we're monitoring what's going on. They were helping us out a lot by helping plant shade trees because in some of our pens there's a lot of bush but not a lot of shade. It's for both the public and it's for the cat's benefit that they have that shade because it does get extremely hot here in the summertime. There's a social side to it. You know, you're all eating together, you're all interacting the whole time and there's a real sort of camaraderie that, that builds up between volunteers and staff. That's why I say people keep coming back. One of the things that was important for us as we were selecting one of the Earthwatch trips was to make sure that we did get some field experience and so this trip has offered that. Human and I, when we go on vacation, we never, we're not the typical vacationer who likes to go to the beach, lay on the beach, things like that. We always like to keep fairly active. By the time they leave after two weeks, they're a trained group of people and it's really hard to see them go. They know about the organization, they know about um, all the different animals that are here, they, they understand what we're up to. So it's hard 
to have them go, but when they leave here, they become our, our ambassadors out in the world. We can't stop for a moment. I mean, really, it is just a, an ongoing challenge. Um, we, we can't sort of take a break and go, oh, it'll be okay for a little while. It's not. <laughs> Every day is working towards saving the cheetah, and that's really what we want our volunteers to, to get out of this.